G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. A little while ago, I think about four years ago, I made a video regarding Woe USB. Let's just quickly check that out. Uh, Woe USB, September 5th, 2018. So yeah, it's about four years ago. That video was all to do with writing a Windows ISO to USB in Linux. Woe USB for Linux, that was the title. Now, quite a few people were getting errors on that, although it seemed to be working okay for a few people, but eventually I realized uh, on a couple of occasions that I needed to write a Windows ISO to USB, I was having issues. And Woe USB wasn't working or functioning as good as it was when it first came out. And I came across this one here, Woe USB-NG. Well, turns out this is quite a nice little app, very simple and works really well. Um, as you can see here, I've got a Windows 11 uh, USB written on there. So I know because I keep forgetting that's a disk I normally write a lot of Linux <laughs> to. So I got confused with that one and this one. I thought I overwrote Windows 10, but I didn't. I actually wrote it on my main one. So, and that works and that works pretty well. So this is the website. It's a GitHub web page and it's called WoeUSB-NG. Now on Arch, which I'm running at the moment, it was quite easy to install, but I'm, I'm using Esnix's um, Arch Linux. So for me, Trizen is what I use to install it from the AUR. In this case, they're suggesting yay. But if you've got your own AUR installer, then use that. And it's just a matter of WoeUSB-NG. So that was simple process for me. Um, on Ubuntu, you have to install the dependencies first, which are these ones. Or on Fedora, these ones. And then after you install those dependencies, then you can install it with this command here. I don't know about um, Debian. It says nothing about Debian. I think this would probably work on Debian as well. I'd have to think because it's a, a pip. Pip3 installers using Python, I believe. I'm not I'm not up to speed with all that stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's Python. So, um, and it's a Python install, I'm pretty sure. And then you've got other sources of installation, um, uh, source from source code. Um, every time I try to install from source code, it never works. <laughs> So I don't know if it's me or whether I just don't have the right dependencies. I've just, I got, I think I've been successful once or twice from source code, but I don't know what it is with source code, to be honest. <laughs> so WoeUSB-NG. So let's take a look at that. WoeUSB-NG. Put in my password. Okay, so this is the app to start off with, but unfortunately, I actually don't have anything in there at the moment. So what I think we'll do is I'm going to nuke this USB with Windows 11 on it, and I'm going to rewrite it for the purpose of the video. So as you can see, uh, select your ISO, and or whether it's from a CD or DV drive, target device, select your target device when it's there. If it's not showing up, you can hit the refresh button. It's as simple as that. So let's just um, put this uh, Windows 11 USB disk in here and uh, let's, let's just wipe that first. Should show up, there we go, NTFS. And it's unusual that it's in NTFS, but there we go, NTFS and UEFI. That's uh, the Windows um, information there for um, it does work. I've installed it on my Toshiba right here. Actually, uh, let's let's just eject that. Device can be removed. Let's just have a quick look on here. Um, I'll show you guys that this is working first. Just in case something goes wrong, I can prove... <laughs> I can actually prove that this is working. <laughs> so let's, let's just check it out here real quick. Let's just start that up and function and F12 on this one, where if I can find F12, there we go. And um, 
where's me arrows? I can't use a computer from this side. Oh, here we go. Um, USB, there we go, let's uh, enter that. Which is hard to use a keyboard upside down, isn't it? <laughs> uh, getting a few little, um, let's just try that. There's a lot of, uh, there we go. So is that Windows popping up? Yep. And if we click on uh, next and install now, let's just do that. So that's Windows 11 starting up there. Let's just give it a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's Windows 11. You can tell this PC can't run Windows 11, right? Well, yes, it can. Maybe I'll make another video about that, but you can install and it said the same thing on this Toshiba, but it's working on the Toshiba. Um, it doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Well, you can change that. I can tell you right now that's a nonsense. <laughs> you can actually change that. So if we have a quick look at my cherry tree, um, and I've um, documented this stuff here, um, and you, you just got to change the uh, in reg edit a few things um, make a few um, make a you need to make a uh, folder within this setup here now call the folder lab config and then make these files and then just um, set them as uh, a value of one under d word you've got to create new d word and stuff so i'm sure there's videos around about that but uh, that's how you get around that. So let's stick this uh, USB stick back in there. There it is. And um, what we'll do is we'll open um, GNOME Discs. Just gonna hide myself there. So 16 gig Toshiba. So let's, let's just completely destroy that. Um, I may need to, um, yep, we need to delete. Delete that and delete and then delete that and delete and we got free space so let's um 15.8 gig next volume name uh, we'll just call it data to start with and we'll just make it a fat and create 16 gig fat so let's um let's now have another look at that there's the data drive it's empty Let's eject it. So Windows 11 has been completely wiped from this. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna stick that back in. There's our data drive and it's empty. As you can see, folder is empty. And let's start up our WoW USB. Now we're going to select our disk image. We need to go the long way around. It just seems to not bring up your home folders by default. So we go to home, colon, downloads, ISO, and Windows 11 should be under here somewhere. Win 11, 22H2 English International. Open that and select our drive, which is the Toshiba 14.8 gig showing here, uh, and install. Are you sure? Are you sure this will delete all your files and wipe out the selected partition? Yep, let's do that. So off we go. So we'll just let that uh, run its cycle and, and then we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so that's the installation complete. Installation succeeded. Let's click OK on that and we can close that. It's got the same information as it did before. So let's eject that disk from there. Uh, didn't say anything about remove safely, but I'm sure it should be fine. Now, we are going to do this again. I put this disk in here. Let's start it up and see whether it still works after a successful write um, function F12. Okay, and there we go. I know it's probably a bit hard to see, but 
little bit hard to see, isn't it? But there we have it. So from there we can do an install. As I said, it'll probably say that this, it's not um, installable on this PC. It can be. You've just got to manipulate that situation. So that's it. That's um, Windows 11 written to a USB using WO USB NG. So that's it. That's the Windows 11 written to USB using WO USB NG. It was quite painless really. I suppose that'll work with any Windows ISO. If you've installed Linux, you decide you don't really want it anymore, you want to install Windows, don't forget you've got to back up your data before you do that because you've got to wipe the disk completely clean to install Windows. Um, so always make sure you back up your data. Or you might have a friend that wants to reinstall um, Windows or wants to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but you run Linux, that's a good way of um, writing the ISO for a friend if it's needed. Um, and if you want the Windows 11 ISO, this is the download page here. Uh, the section you want is download Windows 11 disk image. So you select the Windows 11 multi edition, and then before you begin, you go down here, click download, It'll validate and then go back down and then you've got to choose one of these. I normally choose the English International. Depends on your language, of, of course. Then you can confirm that. And then it's got Windows 11 English International 64-bit download. Hit that and then it'll start downloading. So I'll leave the link to that in the description below just in case you need to know where to get the Windows 11 ISO from. So that was a WO USB NG writing Windows 11 uh, to USB in Linux. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.